Um, so why don't we go ahead and uh, get started with our session so we can make sure that we uh, respect everyone's time. I want to thank everyone uh, for attending the session. Uh, welcome to, to finding your place in the Learning Commons service model. I, we definitely hope that you all have enjoyed the uh, earlier sessions of the Learning Commons uh, Summer Institute. We've had a lot of uh, excellent presentations. We're getting a, a very solid overview of the Learning Commons service model. And so our uh, purpose uh, here is to try to figure out where we fit in there. Uh, but before getting started with this uh, session, we would like to take this opportunity to introduce ourselves. I am uh, Dr. Brian Cervantes. I am the Assistant Division Dean of Humanities and Social Sciences at the Connect Campus. I'm also a member of the Learning Commons Advisory Panel and the head of the Innovation and Creativity Work Team. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Angela Morse. I am a librarian on the South Campus. I am a member of the Learning Commons Professional Development Work Team and the Assessment Team. And I don't know if it's the same for everyone else, but Brian, I cannot see the PowerPoint. Okay, thank you for sharing that. I don't know why it's... No, let me try sharing it again and see if it will work this time. There we go, it's loading now. Okay. It was showing sharing on my side, but as, but as we've already seen this morning, teams sometimes. Yeah, it's up now. Doesn't always cooperate, does it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you. There we are. That that I was. We were talking through the uh, introduction slide there. That was uh, on my end. I was seeing it, but I'm sorry, y'all were not able to. All right, so thank you for uh, for introducing yourself there, Angela, and for uh, pointing out that. Nothing was working there. All right, so uh, our goal in this session, as I uh, mentioned earlier, is to provide everyone with an opportunity to figure out your place in the Learning Commons service model. You know, we've already been uh, introduced this morning to, uh, uh, to the broad structure of the Learning Commons service model, and I definitely want to thank everybody who uh, was able to do that earlier this morning. Uh, and and we, as we've definitely seen, uh, the Learning Commons service model has many opportunities for individuals with varying interests uh, under these larger umbrellas or headings of access, support, discovery, or uh, as an enabler. So why don't we go ahead and get started with some of the activities to see if we can start to figure out uh, our place in the Learning Commons service model. And the first play, uh, first way we want to uh, kind of exp explore that is through a personality quiz. Just a little icebreaker, just a little uh, lighthearded, um, but uh, at least in my case, uh, kind of amazingly accurate little personality quiz. Um, so why don't, uh, why doesn't everybody go ahead and see if they can um, access that quiz. Uh, Angela has placed a, the link to the quiz there in the chat. Uh, it, it takes one to two minutes. It's just a very, very brief little quiz. At the end, it will, based on the answers you provided, it will share with you what your possible place in the Learning Commons service model is.
Does anyone still need more time? I do. No problem. Anybody have any issues with the link? All right. So now we've all had that opportunity to uh, complete the quiz. Um, first off, I just uh, wanted to say, like I said, it was, uh, uh, it, was it seemed to be pretty accurate on my end. Uh, it, it placed me in the uh, creativity um, portion, which, um, like I said, with my um, work with the uh, innovation and creativity work team i thought well that uh, pretty much hit the nail on the head there and uh, so hopefully you all enjoyed uh, being able to, to take that quiz especially all of that uh, talk about uh, traveling and vacation when we don't necessarily have a lot of opportunities to do that right now all right so why don't we go ahead and, and then move on from there now that we have that the little icebreaker completed and uh, Let's see if this will move on like it's supposed to there. Uh, there we go. Didn't want to move. Um, so now let's uh, think a little bit about our role. Uh, let's think a little bit about our job title, uh, what we do at TCC. Um, you know, does your job title accurately describe what you do for the college? You know, so for many of us, it may be the case, but, but for many of us, uh, we may find that, um, you know, our job title uh, maybe is is a bit narrower than what we find ourselves doing in our day to day uh, positions here at TCC. Uh, and uh, you know, are there some other words you would use to to self describe your role? Um, now, for this, I encourage everybody to click on the link Angela provided there. Uh, there's a link in the chat. If you click on that take you here. Uh, did you want to talk just a little bit about the uh, the document here, Angela? Okay, so uh, this is a OneNote notebook um, where we are going to um, type in our responses um, to the questions posed. Uh, right now, you're going to think about what your job title is and whether you agree or disagree with that. And if you have like an alternative name that you think would better describe what you do, you maybe can put that next to it. Um, let me see, is this edible? Editable, so. Let me do this. Okay, you may have to click edit in browser to be able to make it actually work. Um, I'll just share this link one more time for you guys. So if I type in librarian, and then um, you can also go up to um, draw and draw symbols if you want. So I'll just take that off there. And then if you go up to the insert menu, um, you can insert emojis and stickers into the box as well. So if you guys wanna take a minute to start typing your responses in there. Okay. 
And if anyone has any questions or it's not working, uh, please let us know. Also try to not click on somebody else's text. It seemed like in the last group, whenever someone clicked on where someone else was typing, it was erasing it. There's only one response so far. Need you guys to participate, please. Uh, Andrew, do you see the box for response area? When you click on that link. Uh, what happens when you click on the link? Uh oh, okay. I just get the one note. Mm -hmm. Do you see a tab that says gallery walk pre work? Uh huh. I was supposed to click on that. Yeah, click on that. And you may have to click on edit up at the top. If it's not letting you click in the box, there should be like an edit in browser button. Okay. All right. I think it works. And that's where you put our response, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Like you can type your job title um, and then maybe next to that, if you think there's something better that you could be called. <laughs> okay. I got to remember how to spell my job title. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Guys, try and make sure you're clicking in the box. Somebody just retitled the menu. Got a few answers there. Do we have anybody else who wants to enter in their current job title? I think most of the people in here are math tutors. <laughs> so okay. don't know what else to type? I think we have a few that aren't, but most of them are. So why don't we, uh, using that, we can uh, then kind of build on, on that and move forward. And um, this last part is we're going to be staying in OneNote, um, and we're going to do a virtual gallery walk. Uh, and so it, staying in that, um, in that OneNote, uh, we're going to conduct a virtual gallery walk activity in which we're all going to have an opportunity to engage with a thinking question, and uh, add our responses to the to the document there. Look at everybody else's responses, and and we'll see if some patterns emerge. And and I imagine we will see some patterns emerge if the the vast majority of us in here are uh, from the math lab, the math tutoring labs, things like that. Um, but so let's just go ahead and move on to that. Um, if you uh, click on uh, Gallery Walk Station One. Um, you'll see that uh, step one is the thinking question. 
In which portion of the Learning Commons service model do you see yourself or your role most directly related or connected? Uh, and of course, that, that answer could end up being the same as the result of the personality quiz that we took just a few minutes ago. So uh, once you, you've thought about that, uh, add your role in the appropriate response section below. So if you scroll down that OneNote page, you'll see different sections, access, learning support, discovery, creativity, partnerships, enablers. Remember the, the larger umbrellas uh, under which the Learning Commons service model operates. Um, so as you think about your position, uh, again, uh, place it under which of those uh, you believe it fits best. And again, please let us know if you're lost, confused, or something isn't working right. And if you feel strongly that your job is in more than one of these, uh, feel free to put it in more than one. And everyone, please try and participate. There's like three or four responses, and there's a lot more of you in here than that. Okay, um, did you click on gallery walk station one in the link? Uh, Brian, I'm gonna share my screen real, real quick so they can see. Uh, sure, yeah, let me stop sharing. Stop presenting. Okay, everyone should be on this tab right here. Um, can you guys see my screen? Not yet. Not yet. Is it showing up yet? Not yet. Okay, let me uh, try let to me see. stop and then reshare. You know what? Let me move this to my other monitor. That might work better. Is it still not showing up? Not yet. That's so weird. I have a red outline on the window. Yeah, it was. See, it was. It was doing that for me earlier when I was um, going through my PowerPoint. It kept showing highlighted red, and I don't know if the Teams is thinking it's Friday and it's ready to be done. Okay. Let me see if I can do this 
Um, all right, so let's share. Anything? No. Mm. Did we break it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we did. Yeah, I mean it's it's showing my screen uh, squared and red. Showing my screen shared and as uh, squared and red. I do not know what could be going on here. Okay, so on yours, it's showing it belongs to somebody. Um, is there a button that you can click? to edit in browser or open in browser, maybe? Still nothing, huh? Well, Jan can see it, but she can't do anything. She just sees Max typing. Oh, because he typed his name up in the first slide. That's why. Yeah, and I don't know how. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, let's take that out. Yeah. Oh, are you on it there? Yeah, I just typed okay. that back in. Is everyone else having problems with it? This is so strange. It worked just fine with the other group. Yeah. So we have uh, that just fine. And I'm still not seeing your screen. <laughs> yeah, I might as well stop at this point. <laughs> it's, not, it's not doing anything. All right, well... You guys get the point. <laughs> technical problems arise, right? Um, so basically, though, I mean, we, we like Angela said, we get the point here. Um, from what we could see from what people were able to type in, you know, we were seeing that even though a lot of you all were, you know, or are in very similar areas, math tutors, physics tutors, you know, math slash physics tutors, things like that, uh, you definitely see your... Um, your roles as really kind of fitting under all elements of the learning commons. And that I think that uh, really speaks to uh, kind of the learning commons structure, right? That, um, you know, even though we all have uh, maybe kind of a different perspective about where we might all fit in the learning commons service model, you know, it, it is a, a service model that, that does accommodate all of those uh, different perspectives that we might have about our uh, roles here. Um, now let's move on to step two. Uh, and again, ho hopefully uh, more of you will be able to participate here. Hopefully the technology um, will uh, cooperate, um, but using the drawing tools uh, or emojis or text, you know, you can go to insert for the emojis. You can go to draw for the drawing tools. Uh, using drawing tools, emojis, or text, uh, mark something that surprises you or confuses you uh, about all of this. Um, you, know, you may be surprised about what you have uh, uh, found out so far about the Learning Commons service model. Uh, there may be something that's a little bit confusing, uh, maybe somewhat confusing about what your role is within that larger Learning Commons service model. So uh, go ahead and, and enter some of that um, there in that in that space below under you know access or learning support discovery you know where you had your answers entered before
is it still broken for a lot of you? You guys are a quiet bunch. I think everybody's ready for lunch. Okay, so where people have typed, um, you can go in and ask a question underneath it or make a comment. Um, if you go into insert, you can put emojis or stickers next to something if you want to do that um, to express your thoughts. So you can see I put the little emoji with hard eyes next to one of the comments. And you just go to the insert, and then there's a drop down menu for emojis for that. And there's another one for stickers. Or you can click the draw menu and draw stuff on the boxes if you want to do that as well. I type something in the station two. Are we are you able to see that? Um yes, I see it. Yes, I see some uh, some typing in, in station two, yes. Yeah, so you guys can comment or draw or do whatever in any of the gallery walk stations. Uh, we discovered after it was made that there really wasn't a need for three different ones. Um yeah, they feels... could have all been placed under gallery walk stations um because yeah the the changes don't carry forward from one to two to three See the little space cow stickers. All right, so looks like you guys are kind of done with that step um, as much as you're going to do. Um, so does Anyone here um, think that their job title does not accurately reflect what they do? And feel, feel free to unmute yourself or type it in the chat. Guys are all happy with your job title? Uh, I think it describes what we do. Okay. Um, are any of you confused or disagree with what you've seen so far about um, your place, your position's place in the learning commons? Or have any questions that maybe Brian or I could try and answer? <laughs> I, I, will, I will say one thing. Um, so there's a lot of information we covered, but, but I, I understand we cannot break it down to a very uh, specific function level. Uh, it will be nice to see some example that we learn from other learning center and flow it down to all so we can see what they do in this ALA and Eli environment differently so we can learn from it.
Okay, yeah, I mean, because it, it definitely seems that, you know, for, uh, you know, places like, um, you know, tutoring labs, you know, it, it does definitely seem like uh, a lot of opportunities to to apply a lot of the um, a lot of the principles from uh, the active learning, right, to engage learning in those kinds of settings. Yes, yes. Uh, so what? And I, I know that a lot of work has been done uh, to come to this stage, but I don't think it is accessible to all the people. And you know, I'm, I'm just speaking for myself. Uh, that the, some some stuff has been done, and these are the conclusion, and that's how we come to that state. Learning those things, and we may see opportunity to apply it in our environment. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they don't really share a lot of stuff because there's still a lot of ideas are still very tentative, and they don't really want to release something that people get either excited or upset about that they then decide they're gonna change later um so there is a lot of control um over the flow of information and that fortunately or unfortunately depending on your view is just how they've decided to do things and even the different committees within the learning commons a lot of times don't see necessarily exactly what the others are working on until it's almost finished no, I yeah, there's definitely a lot of moving parts <laughs> Absolutely, and but you know, it will be nice if we see in advance, so we might contribute our perspective on the information being generated and used. All right, so you want more communication with the people that aren't necessarily on the work groups and committees. It will be nice. It will help the process by giving some more perspective, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Anyone here kind of maybe not see how the math, science, and writing labs and the library are all going to work together? All right, well, I think that if nobody has anything that you want to add or any other uh, concerns or questions, I think that pretty much wraps it up for us, does it not? Uh, I, I will say just one thing. I think it is a lot sure. of good work is being done. It's very exciting to see that where we are heading. Uh, I will say that that was my impression, even though I'm not very close to it. But uh, it was very encouraging to see a lot of great stuff coming out of it. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, I can I can definitely see how, you know, that, that it's um, you know it is such a large endeavor, right? And that, and that sometimes it can be easy uh, for all of that to, you know, it kind of feel like it's going on outside of our our world, right? And so. Uh, I can definitely understand the the, the desire for uh, more communication, better communication. Um, that that uh, I think will, will definitely create a lot more buy-in around the district, right? And if you guys want to participate more, um, email Susan Smith or Dr. Madison himself and tell them you're interested in being on one of the teams and that you want to participate because they're constantly rotating people on and off. So it's not the same 20 people doing all the work and they're the only ideas that are being put forward. So there's always spots that are opening up where they're trying to swap people out for new ideas. That's true, thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right, well, at this point, I think we're wrapped up here. Um, you guys can leave this meeting and rejoin the general session. And I think that will resume um, around noon. So you guys have 
probably like 15 minute break or so before we do the concluding part of the session today. Thank you all for your participation, your presence, and for, for sharing with and us. Thank you. Um, have a good day. Bye, everyone. everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.